Tonight, family members say a local mother was shot multiple times in her home with her child nearby. JSO has not released her name, but family tells Action News Jax she is 30 year old Eugenia Millage. Action News Jax, Ben Becker is live in Newtown. Ben, JSO just showed up in that neighborhood to talk to neighbors. John, they arrived about 20 minutes ago. I want to show you. They're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven JSO cruisers right now. Numerous officers going through this entire neighborhood, going door to door, knocking on each and every door, speaking to neighbors and giving them pamphlets, looking for information, trying to find out who was the trigger person in last night's shooting, which left one woman in the hospital. However, her son, who was in the home at the time, I'm told, is okay, but she is in stable condition. I spoke to a neighbor who says she fears for her life. This is a picture of 30-year-old Eugenia Millage from Happier Times. I see blood and stuff still down there. Well, mean young blood lives upstairs from Millage. JSO says a woman was found shot multiple times on West First Street last night around 1 a.m. and was rushed to the hospital. Young blood says she was asleep and didn't hear anything downstairs until JSO knocked on her door. It could came through the floor. While I was at Millage's apartment, her cousin Cornelius Tolliver showed up and said Millage wouldn't bother anyone. She got people. She don't do nothing but sit home and take care of her son. I checked Millage's social media account and found this post that reads, quote, when you have a good heart, you help too much, you trust too much, you give too much, you love too much, and it always seems like you're the one who gets hurt the most. As for Youngblood, she's worried about her safety. Does it make you want to lock your door even tighter? <laughs> yeah, it makes me want to keep something beside me, too. Are you going to have trouble sleeping tonight? I hope not. Now, JSO has not announced an arrest or what led to the shooting. There are no pending domestic injunctions involving the victim, but there have been three against her in the past. Reporting live from Newtown, Ben Becker, CBS 47, Action News Jacks.